Kitty cat. Ginger cat. Sus, sus, sus. Good afternoon. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Sa taga Pilipinas po, magandang hapon. Good afternoon everyone. Yes. Um, I'm a bit bored today. A bit bored na talaga. It's been three weeks na kasi na um, I'm on personal leave for three weeks. Dahil nga sa ano, um, I'm surgery. And tomorrow, Monday, it's gonna be, um, I'll be back to work tomorrow. So I'll start work again tomorrow. So back and then, yeah. Today is Sunday. Tapos, napag-isip-isip ko lang the magkagawa ng ano, video um, to post on our YouTube channel. And I was thinking it's gonna be a different one. I was thinking to prank the girls. So since the girls love to eat ice cream or any sweets, but I was thinking ice cream would be the good one. I'm going to give them ice cream each and we will put some toothpaste <laughs> sa ice cream nila and we'll see kung anong magiging reaction nila right? <laughs> yeah and then later I'm going to update you about my endometriosis since na hindi naging successful yung surgery ko and I'm going to have a second surgery in a different um, hospital um, to 2,000 kilometers from here. So I've got a new update about it. So I'll update you later. So I think they are in their bedrooms. Let's see. So we're going to get ice cream. Oh, that's not much in that one. Maybe just a vanilla one. Hopefully, they won't see me. She's gonna play a prank on the kids. Keep an eye on the girls. Oh, I will. Right. I will. So this is the toothpaste. How much are they gonna use? Oh, this is actually very good toothpaste oh, for. Yes. This is very good toothpaste to put in the Oreo. It's a waste of toothpaste, but. Katie! What? What you doing in there? Oh, we're just building blocks. I don't want to smell If you're lucky, we might, be able to, we might be able to have some ice cream or something. Girls, who wants some ice cream? Why? We're gonna have ice Just... cream. Where's ours? Mommy, why do you have a Casey! Yeah? Do you want ice cream? Do you want some ice cream? <laughs> Thank you. Kia. Only Kia would eat it. She loves toothpaste. Do you love toothpaste? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I love for dinner. Disgusting. Kiana's still eating it. <laughs> Is it yummy? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this one is a hundred percent okay. That one is no good. She said it's like that, which is 50 50. 
It's a bearable taste, is it? Wow. Why do you put your taste in it? Well, I tried to prank you girls, but it was a fail. Well, next time I will get you. <laughs> I'll try next time. I'll get you. Watch out. And that was a fail. <laughs> it was a fail. So first time. And the kids um, said, like Casey said that. What did you say about that? About the ice cream? Do they have more? Like, no, I like know? you think that there's something, something off because I never. Yeah. Like. It's it's pretty awkward how you're just like, come on girls, have ice cream. Like, you never let us do that. Like, no. No, what Don't if like, it. I just want you to have some ice cream because I'm bored. I just want to give you some ice cream. <laughs> yep. So it was a file. I told them, I told them I'll get them one day. So with my Indo, with my in, um, endometriosis, um, after the first surgery, the doctor referred me to Brisbane Hospital. Um, it's um, a private hospital for them, um, for them to do the second surgery because too complex. But um, too complicated for them to do it here because there's no one here. There's no specialist here. So the specialist in the Brisbane Nasa Brisbane lang. So it's um 2000 kilometers from here in Cairns. It will take like 2 hours um 2 hours flight from here down there. So actually easy lang naman dapat sana kasi usually kapag kung pupunta ka kung pupunta kayo ng YouTube tsaka titingnan niyo kung paano yung surgery ng endometriosis. Usually sis lang kasi yun yun sis na nasa lining ng ovaries tapos ang ginagawa nila um, gumagamit lang sila ng laparoscopy um, tapos i-remove lang nila yung sis easily ang problema kasi sa akin it's too complicated too complex for them kasi lahat ng organs kasama na yung bowels yung wound yung sinapupunan sinapupunan yung lahat na nang doon yung sis nakastak so parang siguro kasi hindi sila espesyalista kasi siguro yung endometriosis kung normal lang siya na sis yung gynecologist pwede sila mag-opera noon kasi i-remove lang pero kapag ka-complicated na kagaya ng stage 4 na siya um yeah, to complex na kailangan yung specialista na talaga ng endometriosis yung gagawa. Yung gagawa ng surgery na noon. And unfortunately, here in Cairns, I think we don't have one. We have gynecologist, surgery, surgeons, but we don't have the specialist. Wala tayong specialist dito. So yesterday, um, I went to see the doctor. Um, for an update then about the uh, healing. Yung healing ng laparoscopy is very easy kasi whole lang yung ginagawa nila ilang kiko sa tiyan mo. So very easy. Hindi nila kasi yung i-open. Yeah. Hindi kasi nila i-open yun like kagaya na cesarean. Uh, cesarean. So kahapon it's all good. The healing is very good. And pinakita nila sa amin yung ano the picture of the operation yung sa loob it's pretty disgusting dun I saw the cis the the, 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 the cis which is bigger than my fist napuno talaga siya ng ano super, tinatawag nilang chocolate cis kasi puno siya ng blood yeah, puno ng dubo tapos ang sabi nila they cannot move the womb Usually, you can just move everything easy inside. Pero sa situation ko, yung sinapupunan na lang doon, they cannot even move it. That's how sticky it is. 
So now, they refer nila ako sa Mata Health Hospital. It's a private hospital in Brisbane. Tapos dun yung dun gagawin yung ano, dun gagawin yung of um, surgery. And then the surgery will will happen anytime, anytime. Kasi um, the, I'm on the waiting list since kasi it's a stage for endometriosis. So they have they want to do it as soon as possible. So they're going. I will have the surgery within 90 days. So yung ano yung pagkal uh, yung pagkalagay ng name ko sa um, waiting list for second surgery. It was November 27. So from November 27, you count. That's the start you count from November 27, 90 days. So it's gonna be the first week of March. So anytime January, February, like that. So they're just going to, the doctors just have to arrange a, a date. So yun lang yung, we're, that's um, what we're waiting at the moment for the the date for the second surgery and then maybe the arrangement for transportation it's gonna be free transport but no chaperone though so if Jim is going to come with me he's going to pay his own ticket plane ticket and maybe accommodation there so the hospital will cover all the expenses and everything um, question where did you put the toothpaste? Like, did you put it on top, side, bottom? Mix. Mix? I mixed it. Well, you know what you should have done? To make it a bit more like it wasn't a prank, you should have like kept it at the bottom, probably like in a group. And then you put like maybe, well, maybe. Then you one eat, one. You, then you eat. Yeah, everything. yeah, but once you get down near by the bottom, then. We'll see. Next time, I'll say. It's a good tip. Yeah, guys, so that's the update. So, balik ako tomorrow. I'll be back to work tomorrow. And then Christmas, hopefully, I will not receive any call from the hospital saying that, you know, on the 25th, that's gonna be your operation. And hopefully not. I'll prefer to finish the whole year. This year, finished it. Muna, celebrate Christmas and New Year and then yeah start fresh and have have the surgery early next year so about before april at least before april everything done yeah everything is done so that's for now since our prank is a fail we're going to search more prank or any challenges for the girls see ya